Haritaki Rumba. Itanam guys, welcome you back. I welcome you all with my love and respects and the blessings of my Guru, His Divine Holiness, Bhagwan Shri Nityananda Paramashivam. Today's video I wanted to share about Haritaki. Uh, I made a song. You just need a clean stomach. Enlightenment swinging in a hammock. So surreal like fairy tales and comics. But with a clean stomach you can climb all summits. And this song is, is nice. It is, uh, it educates a lot about various things and it shows the importance of Haritaki and the purpose of it is not only to enjoy but also to raise the awareness of the power of taking Haritaki on a daily basis. Taking Haritaki is a small thing but if you do this small thing on a regular basis daily it will have huge impacts on your life for everybody actually. Haritaki is basically a dried fruit. Um, it goes under many names Haritaki um, Karikapuri in Tamil, um, otherwise hardy powder, sometimes you can find here in the stores in the North America hardy powder, H-A-R-D-E powder, and there's the Latin name which uh, I do not remember right now. I'll put the link, uh, there's a website called haritaki.org which gives a lot of information about haritaki and how it will literally change your life. Haritaki is like nectar for your consciousness. It cleanses your body, it removes the ex excess of mucus, it removes the excess of stools, it, um, it heals uh, ulcers and acidity issues in your stomach and it basically works a lot on the stomach and uh, I would say secondary on the intestine and, but the stomach is so important for enlightenment because the stomach is actually where we store anger. The anger memories are stored in the stomach. So the stomach is the, is the is, we can say is the root of the violence we have within us and the violence we see outside of us. If we learn how to heal the stomach, if we learn how to engage with the stomach in a healthy way, then a lot of this, these problems will be removed from our lives and um, our humanity will live a different experience. And, and that is very much needed in my opinion right now. Um, so Haritaki, yes, like I said, it's a powder. You can take, put water in your mouth and take it and swallow. You can mix it with water. You have to find your own way of taking it. It has a very strong taste. It depends. Each one of us experience it differently, but it can be a little bit, <laughs> you can have a little bit of resistance initially, but that is fine because it is worth it. Take one teaspoon and then on a regular basis every day, uh, best is at night when there's nothing in the stomach so it can it can work on the stomach where there when there's less activity in it um, but it's also good to take it after meals to allow the, the processed food the food to just go through the body quickly and get expelled uh, rather fast so haritaki increases the oxygen in your body and that is one of the major thing why it's so good because not only it heals the stomach but it increases the oxygen in the body which results in uh, purifying the blood and when you are uh, when the blood is pure um, we experience a totally different life so basically it pretty much prevents for pretty much all diseases because the way it functions of course when you're already in a state of disease then that's it take more time but if you take it on a daily basis you kind of basically protect yourself from pretty much any form of disease and especially if your diet is not good you should take more haritaki I was watching at some point some videos about uh, bodybuilding and all that and the amount of food they take and uh, and I was thinking my god these people they would they would benefit so much by taking hardaki and I'm pretty sure they would excel better in their sport as well actually any athlete would ex excel better in their sport if they were to take um, this powder so um, yeah sometimes it is also sold in forms of capsules so in capsules you don't have the taste so it's kind of easy to take uh, but I believe the powder is a little bit more effective because it, it hits the track where the capsule leaves in the stomach and it just kind of opens up in the stomach. But when you take the powder, it all the, the esophagus and all that gets also cleansed, the mucus in the throat and all that stuff. Um, it's very important. We have a lot of mucus in our body which is not supposed to be there because of the food we eat. Because the food we eat, unfortunately, is not the best for various reasons. That could be for another video. But uh, because of that, the body has to protect itself and it creates a lot of mucus. And that mucus makes you more and more dull, more and more slow. Your intellectual capacity is reduced. 
Your capacity to be spontaneous and respond in life is reduced, even in sports, for instance. Your capacity to make decisions and your body to move as fast as to get in the zone, right? Your capacity to get in the zone is reduced. When you take harataki, it is easier for you to come back to that space where you're in the zone and you just know where to be, what to do, at what moment, and everything falls in tune perfectly, and then we manifest great things. So, yes, inviting you to check the video and to do the challenge. You film yourself taking harataki, film your facial expression, see how you experience it and uh, invite friends to do it as well. And another challenge is also taking it for 21 days. Actually, I would recommend to take it forever, every day. But the challenge is 21 days and share your experience of how it has uh, helped you and transformed you. Because definitely within 21 days, you will have a huge shift just by taking this miraculous little powder. So with this, I'm closing this video again, thanking you for watching, inviting you to like small actions that do big things. Uh, sharing is caring out as well. So if you share this video with people to raise the awareness and help each one of us to, uh, to live in a space of higher and higher and higher completions, subscribe, leave a comment and I'll see you guys in the next video. Nityananda. I welcome you all with my love and respect. Let you all open all your three eyes. Om Nityananda.